New at 6 here in Atlanta, it's something we take for granted. Tree cover serving as a map of race and income. Researchers now using our environment to build community demographics. Now here in Atlanta, Atlanta neighborhoods can be very different from one to the next. I want to show you this map here. This neighborhood in Midtown scoring 100. Well, not too far away down in Vine City, this neighborhood scoring a 48. What do those numbers mean? It's called a tree equity score, and it adds up to a number of factors that shape a neighborhood and how trees are the common denominator. In this city, in a forest, Atlanta neighborhoods are not created equal, even when it comes to our most abundant resource, trees. Trees just really aren't high on the list of things to be looking at. Greg Levine, co-executive director of Trees Atlanta, has seen the disparity from one community to another. And a recent nationwide tally of trees, known as the Tree Equity Score, digs deeper into the difference. Researchers found that neighborhoods with a majority of people of color have a third less tree canopy than mostly white communities. And neighborhoods with 90% or more residents living in poverty have less than half of the tree canopy that more affluent communities do. This is what I love. This is what saved me from all my anxiety. <laughs> I found one of the lower tree equity scores in Atlanta in this area between Bankhead and the English Avenue neighborhood. I met Jamaica tending to the English Avenue urban farm. Would you yeah, like to see more trees? Yeah, I'd like a couple more trees out there, yes. yes. I like trees. I'll take care of them. And the trees help take care of Jamaica and his neighbors. In communities with fewer trees, there are more heat-related deaths, more air pollution, property values are lower, and unemployment rates are higher. Trees are kind of a, a one-size-fits-all for solving all those problems. And again, mental health. Uh, we, there's been tons of studies, and we know with this past year and this challenging time with COVID, that green is what makes people calm down, um, feel at ease, and bring a little bit of just peacefulness and reduce the stress. Just 15 minutes east in historic Midtown with one of the higher tree equity scores, I met Terry Smith out for a walk. To be able to have all of this, it's truly a blessing. She has no doubt the trees have made this a more livable, comfortable, and affluent community. Just the walkability of everything and have some shade when I was out walking the dogs instead of just being in the boiling sun. It's part of what makes the Garden District or the historical part of Midtown special. Well, Trees Atlanta tells me they continue to work to increase tree canopy cover for communities that need it. You can find a link to the Tree Score website and how Atlanta ranks on our website at CBS46.com.